Morning guys, what's up? Beautiful day in Minnesota. Hope you guys are all doing okay. I can't complain, I guess I'm doing okay as well. Um, what well, today, so me and my wife, we're gonna go see our son at the U. So we're gonna go to his house and uh, we're gonna drop him some food because he texted the other night and said if you guys could bring me some lasagna uh, that would be great <laughs> so my wife did make some lasagna today um, so that's what we're gonna go drop off and then we're also gonna clean up his house a little bit and that's about it yeah this is Minnesota in October city is Egan and what else look this is what it looks like Twin Cities International Airport on my right. Yeah, did you guys know this? Twin Cities International Airport at one time was the number one airport in the United States. I think it's currently like number four. This town is Richfield, I think. There's a quite a few Tibetan in this town, if I'm not wrong. Should I say town or city? Maybe this is a city. What do you think? Maybe? Is this a city? <clears throat> and also, guys, I don't know if you guys know this or not, know this or not, but some of you may already. But Minnesota is actually uh, has one of the largest uh, Tibetan population here in North America, if I'm not wrong. The first, I believe, is New York or Toronto, I believe, and then one of the two, and then Minnesota probably is the third, after Toronto and, and New York. Pretty big Tibetan population. Now, when I say pretty big Tibetan population, we are probably saying, I don't know, maybe 5,000, maybe more than 5,000. But it has to be less than 10,000. I don't know, guys. If you have any idea, let me know. I don't know how many people in Minnesota, but I have heard that Minnesota has one of the largest uh, population of Tibetan in North America. Oh, quite a bit of traffic. Didn't expect any traffic this time of the day, but... Here it is. Look at our, our skyway. Our beautiful downtown. don't remember either when was the last time I came here. I don't think I've been to downtown Minneapolis for over two, three years, maybe more than that. I don't remember at all the last time I was here. But there it is, guys. Look at that. Our beautiful downtown. We're pretty close. <clears throat> I'll show you guys <clears throat> my son's house today. <clears throat> Probably pretty dirty today. <laughs> you know, he's normally a clean kid. I mean, when he stays home, he keeps his room really clean and everything. Should I stay on the other link? No, stay right here. Normally, yeah, I was saying normally when he's home, he keeps his room really clean. He's very particular about his room. His, his, his cleaning, cleanliness is really good. But at his house here, at the U, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's really dirty. So we'll see how it's going to look today. We're pretty close now. Maybe five minutes, I think. What's the exit? A lot of the students uh, stay in this building right here, guys. This building right here has a lot of university students, I think. My, my nephew, when he was going to the U, that's where he stayed for like a year, I think. Yeah, this building right here, that's where my nephew used to stay. So 
So what did we bring? Did I say what we brought for him? Well, he wanted some lasagna, so that's what we brought, obviously. And then I also made some ribs. Oh, yeah. We'll take a right on the next one. Right here? Yeah, take a right right there. So yeah, we also brought some ribs, which he does not know, and he loves ribs. So that'll make him happy. Now see guys, all of these houses, uh, these are mostly university students. Yep. Yep, we're gonna take a left right here. Make sure nobody's coming through somewhere. Sometimes you can't see. Yep. So yeah, see here we are guys. Now I don't think we can is find he, a parking is here. Is he leaving? Yeah, it looks like he's gonna leave. Are you leaving? Oh, perfect. He's going to leave, so we're going to park right there. And this right here is my son's house. Guys, you can see that. Maybe he's the one who's peeking out. <laughs> is it? Looks like it. I can see a shadow. Yep, perfect timing. I don't even know. Here we are. Guys, look at his house. That's, that's the one right there, so that's what it looks like from here. Guys, see, this is what it looks like. Yeah, look at his neighborhood. Yes, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. So this is what his neighborhood looks like, guys. These are all college kids. Yep. And that's his house right here. Alright, I have not been helping at all. Look at my watch. I, I got it, baby. Yep. Oh, wow, this alarm is going... So, according to my wife, this alarm is going all over the nation today. I did not know this. So welcome to my son's house. And that's his house. Hey man. Hello. Welcome to his house. So this is his house guys. Look at this. Can you turn on the light? Yep. That's the big guy himself. Alright. I'll vacuum the house a little bit. Yeah, they can go. What? Yeah, that's the whole thing. Well, that's his bedroom, guys. Look at this. <laughs> oh Not terrible, baby. Yeah. This is what I think. Of course. He's got his computer set up, two computers, I think for... Makes sense for uh, a computer science student. There's a small bathroom. Right. And now let me show you his kitchen. And <laughs> this is his dining room. I don't think he ever uses that. You know, I think he always sits right there. <laughs> yeah, and this is his kitchen. Oh wow, the kitchen looks really nice and clean. The kitchen looks really nice and clean. Oh, actually not really this. <laughs> there are some over here, but it looks pretty clean on this side. But not the stove itself. 
I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit. And this right here is the backyard. Well, let's see what the backyard looks like. Yep, guys. So this right here is the backyard. There's a garage if you want to put your car in there, but my son does not have a car. Yep. So there's probably nothing in there other than a couple bikes, maybe some scooters. Yeah, there's, there's some sort of veggie going over there. I wonder if that belongs to the neighbor. Alright, let's get back in. Okay, let's see if I can clean this up a little bit. Looks a little better now. <laughs> Man, it was greasy. <laughs> now the wife is going crazy with the vacuum. Yep. Look at him. What do they have? Oh my gosh, bunch of chips. There are fruits. Bananas look old. <clears throat> and it's, I don't know what he's doing. And then he's watching some Korean movie, I think. National Alert. So that must be the alarm. Okay. Like 145. 145 Lutengia, okay. So yeah. What are you doing? Coding. Assessment lists and strings. Coding. Robert is on the switch. Don't go. I'm in a little bit. Well, this is it, guys. This is his room, basically. Yep, now we're gonna leave in about 10 minutes. He wants us to drop him off at his work. Oh. And he's gonna work two hours today. <laughs> he's gonna work a very long shift for two hours. Two hours. <laughs> Proud of you, man. Proud of you. All right, guys, looks like we're gonna go. He needs to go to work. Well, That's yours. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna go drop him off to his work, and then I'll also show you what some of the U, um, the neighborhood around you looks like. Well, you as in university, okay? <coughs> you wanna drive to the Well, it takes too much time. You don't want to? Guess I do the sugar. What? You wanna sit on the front? No. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's gonna 
There's a Gucci card back here. Yeah, because Auntie bought a new Gucci purse. Hmm. The new U turn chain out the deal order. From you, the U turn? Yeah, if, if you're able to. Can you hold on to this one for a second? It's the University Food Hall. Whatever that means. Then you next light the up there, it's left. University Avenue and Air. Yeah. So yeah, look at those guys. These are all students. If you look around, you're basically seeing a bunch of students hanging out, going to school, going to their room, going to their dorm. Why wouldn't you take interest in something like programming and that kind no, of no, stuff? No, today? I, yeah, no, I still I still do programming. Take a right right here? Well, yeah, like you could do classes and I know programming is still required for my degree. Like I have to know all that. It's just more like it's more niche what I'm doing. So you guys look at this. These are all University of Minnesota uh, neighborhood. I hope this guy is not gonna go. Did some of you of M get it right because of Yeah, I think they go on my left. Left right here? Uh, okay, let's let's stop right here. That's your gonna turn on me. I love you, man. Okay. Bye. 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 If you want to add more to the list, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yeah, guys, this is where he's working. Yep, this building right here. And this is what the U of M neighborhood looks like. Look at that. I don't know why the flag is half masked today. Something must be going on. I don't know. A lot of students. Students everywhere, obviously. Look at that. All oh, students. Roti. What's the name of a restaurant? Roti. Sounds good. There's for the train. Cause the direction for John Kajin Tain. Traffic on wheel. Alright guys, we're heading home now. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my son's little house and then a small peek of the University of Minnesota neighborhood. Mm, I guess that's it. Take care and if you would uh, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate it if you could do that and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Take care. In 500 feet, bear left onto Butler Place.